Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the YouTube made me buy it tag. I think sometimes it's also called the YouTube made me do it tag. But I'm calling it the YouTube made me buy it tag, that might be wrong. Anyway, someone suggested that I do one of these videos and I didn't even know it was a thing so I looked it up and apparently it's very old. So apologies for that. But then I started looking through my makeup and I realised I bought a lot of stuff because of YouTube. It's kind of horrifying. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I have so much stuff to talk about. I'm not going to go into anything in detail so if you want to see anything in more detail then let me know in the comments below and I'll do like a little extra video about that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start with palettes. First of all is the Anastasia Contour Kit. This, I don't know specifically who made me buy this, but it was definitely YouTube because everybody on YouTube talks about it. It's well loved. I've hit pan on this pink colour and I use this colour here as contour. Next up is the Smashbox Etude Palette. This is a beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette with massive, massive pans. I'm pretty sure that Samantha from Battlelash made me buy this. I think Battlelash are kind of like affiliated with Sourcebox, so they used to talk about this palette all the time and she had a couple of tutorials with it and I was like, okay, well, I'm buying that now. So I did. Next up is a fairly recent purchase for me and it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Ugh, I hate that this mirror is in such an awkward place. This is the inside of it. This is a beautiful palette and it smells... Delicious! Oh my gosh, it's so good. The only colour that I don't love, which was the colour that I was looking forward to the most, is this reddish brownish purpley colour up here. I thought it was going to be so amazing and it's just kind of like, ugh, it just comes out brown. So, if you want a colour like that, get the YouTube palette instead. Ah, also, I don't know who made me buy this, but it was YouTube. So many people use it. I think the deciding factor was Kathleen Lights because I pretty much want to buy everything that she tells me to. And because I want to buy everything she tells me to, I bought the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I had never heard about this palette before until I heard Kathleen speak about it. And it's all mattes. Well, they're pretty much matte. Some of them are like a little bit sheenish. They're not shimmery, but they're not... I don't know, I feel like they're not completely matte. But this palette is so awesome. It has freaking every single transition shade you could ever need in this. So if you get... You know how sometimes like cheapo palettes, they don't... They don't have any matte colours, they only come with all shimmers. This is perfect to kind of like pair with that because no matter what colours of shimmers you've got, you've always got something matte that you can just chuck in the crease to blend it up. This next one isn't really a palette, but I've put it in a little C palette. And it's just a bunch of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I only have five. It seems like everybody on YouTube has like a billion Makeup Geek products, but I only have five of their eyeshadows. I've got three purple ones, um, a gold one, which I think is glamorous, and then Cocoa Bear. This is just a random Inglot eyeshadow that's in there. And I also have three pigments from Makeup Geek. I'm not sure where the other one is. But I've got um, a purple Enchanted, a kind of like bronzy colour, which is Nightlife, and then like a champagne colour, which is Afterglow. And I've also got their gel liner in Immortal. I don't love this gel liner. I've just, I've got oily eyelids and I feel like it doesn't stay on me. It just like transfers up onto like, I guess, my little hood. So I never use this. So even though Makeup Geek is kind of everywhere on YouTube, it was definitely Jaclyn Hill that made me go and buy the first things that I got from them. Actually, I've only made one order. So it was definitely Jaclyn Hill that made me make that order. And I do really like them, but I don't know, like, I don't think they're like, oh my god, they're the best. And I guess for Americans it's really good because they are cheap, but then to here you've got to ship them out and like that costs money and oh, I don't know, I would just rather buy a palette, honestly. Next is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. Uh, this one I got because of Tarte or Glam Life Guru. La la. Oh my gosh, it's such a tongue twister. Glam Life Guru on Facebook. Oh. I always say Facebook instead of YouTube. Why? I got it from Tarte, Glam Life Guru on YouTube. No, I didn't get it from her. I got it because of her. I'm failing. I really, really like her. She gives such like comprehensive reviews of stuff, so when she says she loves something, I trust that, and so I went and bought this, and it is amazing. I love it so much. I broke the bronzer side of it, though, which is totally devastating, but I did fix it up. I have got a video on how I fixed it up. If you'd like to see it, I will link it below, but this palette is awesome. Last for the palettes, I have my MAC palette. I didn't buy all of these because of people on YouTube, but I did buy a lot of them because of people on YouTube. 
Um, so I guess I'll start with the Jaclyn Hill ones first. Shroom and Myla, definitely because of Jaclyn Hill. Um, this one is Wedge, also because of Jaclyn Hill. Soft Brown, also because of Jaclyn Hill. And what's this called? Swiss Chocolate, Jaclyn Hill. Oh, and Sketch, Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> oh, and Red Brick. Also Jaclyn Hill. And then Vex, Satin Taupe and Cranberry I all bought because of Tanya Burr. She had this one tutorial where she used all three of them at once and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I need those. The rest of them I just have because the girl in the Mac shop helped me. And then on this side I have Emphasize because of Jaclyn Hill. Um, what is this called? Margin. And I think this one's because of Nicole Guerrero. Okay, that's all the palettes done. Oh, I forgot these two little MAC eyeshadows that are also because of Jaclyn Hill, Texture and Typographic. She has this beautiful, like, cat eye smoky thing and she used them and I was like, oh, no, I needed them. The last eyeshadow that I have because of YouTube is this ColourPop eyeshadow. It's in the colour Bay. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It wasn't specifically um, this colour that I saw on YouTube that I then wanted to go and buy. It was just the brand. You know, they're everywhere. And I also have the Lippy Pencil and Lippy Stick in Lumiere. This one is because of Kathleen Lights. She, like, collaborated with Colourpop to make this colour and it's beautiful. I wear it all the time. I love it. Okay, I wonder how many times I'm going to say Jaclyn Hill in this video. But here are two more things that I bought because of Jaclyn Hill. They are the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. This one is Moonstone and... This one is rose gold. Unfortunately, rose gold is kind of a little bit too dark for me to wear as a highlight because I'm pale. But I really like to put it like over my blush just to make it more shiny. I have three blushes that YouTube made me buy and two of them are because of, you guessed it, Jaclyn Hill. The first of them is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in Plum Pop. And it's this really cute like pinkish purplish color. I love that it's got the little flower imprint. It's adorable. And the second is MAC Peaches. I bought this um, when I first kind of started watching Jacqueline and she was like, oh my god, I love it. And then I hated it. I hated it for so long because I thought that I couldn't wear peach blushes. But now I love it. I don't really reach for it that often though because it's kind of like shoved off in a drawer. So maybe I should get it out. The last blush is Luminoso by Milani. I bought this one because of Nicole Guerrero. She uses it all the time. And she used to use like heaps of drugstore products. I guess she uses more high end now, which I don't really mind because... I like high-end products too, but she used to use this all of the time, so of course I needed to have it. Yeah, this video just is going to be like I bought everything that Jaclyn Hill said was good, and it's because I do do that. Awkward. <laughs> because of Jaclyn Hill, I have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use NW20 and NW15, and W20 is like the actual shade of my skin and NW15 is just a little bit lighter so I use that to highlight. I also bought the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This wasn't just because of Jaclyn, she does use it a lot but um, like Nicole also used this and I guess some other people that I watched use this as well. So I did buy this one when I was in America on my honeymoon. Oh, I forgot one blush. This one is by NARS. It's the colour Madly. And I bought it because of Kathleen Lights. It looks like kind of like nothing in the pan, like not exciting, but it's really, really pretty. I really like it. I do have to be careful because I'm so pale that I don't put it on and just look like I've got brown cheeks. Um, but I really, really like this one. I only have one primer that I've bought because of YouTube, which is kind of surprising. I'm a little shocked at that, and it is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Primer. I bought this one because of Lauren Curtis. I believe that it was her that said she liked it more than the Benefit Pore Professional, and I do really, really like this. I have, like, pretty massive pores, like, right here on my face, and it just, like, fills them in, and they're gone, and it's amazeballs. YouTube made me buy two Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products. Uh, this is the Clear Brow Gel, and it is the best brow gel I have ever used in my life. It's like freaking cement. It's so good. Um, I'm not sure specifically who made me buy that but everybody and their mother uses it. And then the second is the dip brow pomade. I actually think it was more, I know a lot of people on YouTube use this but it was probably more Reddit that made me buy this because like every single person on Reddit was using this for a while. On Makeup Addiction, if you have not been on there, go. It's awesome. Almost done. Um, I have MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I 
I want to say that I bought this because of Jacqueline, but I don't think that I really did. When she was using it, she her skin's like darker than mine. So I was like, oh, you know, it's probably too dark for me. And then Nikki Tutorials always uses soft ochre. So I went to MAC and I was like, oh, I'm going to get soft ochre. And then I looked at it and it was so yellow. I was like, oh, this is going to make me look like I have jaundice. So then I picked up Painterly and it was freaking perfect. It's like the same color as my skin. So that's amazing and I'm loving it. I use it every day. I have two lipsticks. This is the YSL Rouge Velopt, 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 oh, my French is not good, apologies, um, and it is in the number one nude, I, okay, this is another one that YouTube semi made me buy, because what I wanted was, um, the, like, the little square packaging ones, um, in number 10, because that's what Samantha from Battle Lash uses all the time, but we don't sell it in Australia, like, what?! You can't buy it here! So I was like really annoyed and then I saw this one and it was like a new colour so I bought that because I just wanted YSL because she had YSL. It's kind of like... I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops so I bought army pants and flip flops. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it's like. Next is Myth and this is a very recent purchase, I only bought this yesterday. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I bought it because of Crispy who I only kind of recently started watching, but she wears me all the time, so I was like, okay, I'll get it. Also because of Crispy, I bought the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, um, because she uses powder foundation all the time, and I've been wanting to get into one for a while, and then she used this, and I was like, okay, that's going to be the one, that's what I'm going to get, so I went and got it. My very, very last item is another foundation, and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I bought this because of What Would Lizzie Do? Um, I only recently started watching her as well, and she has oily skin like me, and she said that this was awesome, and I tried it, and it is awesome. This is definitely going to be in my February favourites, so watch out for that. Okay, that's everything. I hope this video wasn't too long because I had so much stuff to talk about. Ooh, I am on a no buy at the moment. Like, I cannot buy any more stuff. Especially because the stuff that YouTube makes me buy, it's always stuff that I have to buy online that's overseas. And, like, the shipping makes the cost so much worse. And the exchange rate makes the cost so much worse. So I'm on a, I'm on a no buy for at least the next two months. Like, I'm not, I'm buying nothing. So you'll not be seeing any holes, sorry. Alright, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!